Hello, and welcome back to another Toys R Me. <laughs> Guess what? It's been 30 years since Mighty Morphin Power Rangers front flipped onto our Saturday morning lineup. And if you were anything like me, you watched it religiously. It was the coolest thing that you could possibly watch. There were tons of great shows back then, but Power Rangers was just a step above. It was just at the top. The, the action, the explosions, the color-coordinated suits, the megazords, the martial arts, teenagers with attitude. And this week is a very special week for fans of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as they are having a celebratory 30-year anniversary Netflix special titled Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always. With it being a special, there are many characters returning that we've seen throughout the years. Kat, Rocky, Aisha, Adam, even Rita's returning with a new body, as she says in the trailer. But the two biggest ones that are returning are Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, and the creator of Hip Hop Keto himself, the Zack Man, the Black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Billy is awesome. But today I wanted to focus on the Black Mighty Morphin Automorpher toy because it was the very first Power Ranger toy that me and my brothers ever owned. Debuting in 1994, the Automorphers were a ginormous hit, and they featured the five original Rangers plus the sixth Ranger. My brothers and I were able to collect almost every single Automorpher, except somehow missed out on the Yellow Ranger. From his authentic battle damage, to his missing arm, to no cartilage in his joints, you can tell that we played the heck out of these toys. When I was born, I was in the hospital for quite a few weeks because of some medical issues. And so one of the nurses became friends with my mom while she was there. Once I was released, that nurse's family came to visit my family. And the nurse brought two Power Ranger toys as a gift to my two older brothers. And that was the red Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, and of course, the black Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. This would end up being our introduction to the more phenomenal world of Power Ranger toys. I of course didn't remember any of this because I was just born, but the moment that I was old enough to start playing with toys, Zack was always one of my favorites. Not only was Zack one of the very first Power Ranger toys we owned, he also went on one of the most epic journeys that any of our toys ever went on. My siblings and I always used to play in the dirt, dig holes, build bike ramps, you know, 90s things. We would bring out various toys and use the hole as a backdrop slash environment for the toys to have battles in. It was a ton of fun. The issue is, is that you were always told to clean the hole back up. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but on this particular occasion, we were called in for dinner. We dug the hole back up with Zach buried in the hole. We went in, had dinner, and when we came back out, it was already starting to get dark and we could not remember or find where we had buried this hole. Zack was just gone. For many days after, we went outside to dig search holes, desperately trying to find Zack, our precious first Power Ranger toy. We just couldn't find him. Rita Repulsa had won this round. Days went by, weeks went by, and even months went by, and we slowly gave up hope. A year later, our family was having a barbecue, and all the kids were out playing in the backyard, and then, someone spotted it. A small toy arm poking out of the ground. Even though it was nowhere near where we thought we had buried it, we all knew exactly whose arm that belonged to. So we got our shovels, quickly dug it up, and there he was, the Zack Man making his triumphant return. As you can see, Zack has been through quite a few battles. The most notable battle damage you might be able to see first is this yellow scarring that's on his chest. Next, you'll notice that his right arm is missing and his head has clearly been chewed on. His arms and legs should have these black diamonds, but as you can see, those are almost completely gone. He should on his left hip have a holster for his blade blaster, but that was lost some years ago. Automorphers always had amazing articulation, especially in their shoulder and arms, but forget about being able to pose this guy. After many, many, many years of being played with, he's just completely floppy. His joints are just non-existent. On his chest, you can barely make out the emblem of a mastodon. I also don't know where his power axe is. I think we lost that years and years and years ago. Today, you can get a lot more intricate toys, but back in the early 90s, this was the top tier line that you could get. There was just not toys better than this. 
So if you want to relive nostalgia, or if you're a newcomer to Power Rangers and want to start your own Power Ranger collection, then check out the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Automorpher toy. Currently, there's no official release for this toy. Back in 2018, they did a re-release of the pink, green, and red ranger. Later that year, they were expecting to release the blue, yellow, and black ranger, but those plans never came to fruition. If you want one for yourself, head over to eBay where you can find several unopened figures, ranging from $40 to $60. This is a great toy. It was so much fun to play with, still is, and I have so many fond memories of it. That's all for today, folks. Don't forget to check out the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Once and Always Netflix special, where you can see Zack back in action. Thank you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And may the power protect you. It's Morphin time! Go, go!